I Want Answers is made possible by the Grand River Dam Authority, Rogers State University, the University of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State University, the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, and viewers like you. We have a cat fight in the quarterfinals as the Stigler Panthers meet up with the Commerce Tigers only here on I Want Answers. Welcome back everyone to Oklahoma's favorite high school academic team game show, I Want Answers. I'm your host, Jeff Gaffin. Well, we have a team that's participating for the first time here in the quarterfinals. The Stickler Panthers achieved a victory by forfeits, so we're glad you're able to make it, but this is your first time competing. Can you handle the pressure? I hope so. No yeah. pressure. All right, we have the Stigler Panthers against the Commerce Tigers. Are you ready to play teams? Yes. yes. You want questions? Yes. Well, most importantly, I want answers. We begin as always with the speed round. The speed round consists of individual answer questions worth 10 points each. The first team member to buzz in gets to answer. No conferring between team members is allowed in this round. Ready, here we go. Name the latitude lines that are the northern and southern boundaries of the torrid zone. You made it, Sigler, go ahead. Cancer. More specific. Um, Tropic of Cancer. And? Tropic of Capricorn. Correct. What rough, hoarse, sawing noise is produced by vibrations from the soft palates and vocal cords and occurs during sleep? Commerce, yes. Snore. Snoring is correct. What is the transfer of heat through a solid called? I'll give it to you, Time, timer, oh, tie goes to the teams, go ahead. Conduction. Conduction is correct. See, it was good. All right, more speed. Name the number of natural chemical elements and the number of constellations in the sky and the number of keys on a full-size piano. Stigler, yes. 88. 88 is correct. Gerhard Kramer was the given name of what Flemish cartographer who developed the map where lines of constant direction are always straight? Time on that, the Mercator, Mercator. What is the most important American contribution to the development of modern architecture? Commerce, yes. The Capitol building? Incorrect, Stigler, you get a chance. Yes, go ahead. The Empire State Building. Incorrect, steel frame construction, just in general, steel frame construction. <laughs> Wind sometimes blows in powerful spurts. These spurts are called what? Commerce, yes. Gust. Gusts are correct. What is the acronym for times after 12 midnight and before 12 noon? Commerce, yes. AM. AM is correct. And now our first video question of the evening. This will be presented by Mr. Justin Alberti with the Grand River Dam Authority. Pensacola Dam in Langley, Oklahoma was constructed in 1940. What lake was created by its construction? I'd like to get in. Okay, sorry, we had a timer on that. That would be Grand Lake or Grand Lake of the Cherokees. All right, so more, moving on with more speed. What 92-year-old former Secretary of State says the U.S. must strike hard to defeat ISIS terrorist threats? Time on that, Henry Kissinger. Fracking seems to be at least partially responsible for the marked increase of what events? Stigler, yes. Earthquakes. Earthquakes are correct. Oh wait, that was cheesy, I'm sorry. Math question, you do get extra time for this. If two circles are tangent to each other, what is the greatest number of common tangent lines the two circles can have? Sigler, yes. Two. Incorrect, commerce. 
Go ahead, yes. Four. Incorrect, right in between, three. Two on the outside and one in between them. What Rob Reiner film recounts the efforts of Valiant Wesley to rescue the fair buttercup? Yes, Commerce. The Princess Bride. The Princess Bride, one of my favorites, correct. For the first time in 50 years, the federal government said that less of what ion, which is common in dental products, should be added to public water supplies. Stigler, yes. Fluoride. Fluoride is correct. In April 2015, the Israeli military conducted airstrikes in what occupied area between Israel? Stigler, yes. Syria. Incorrect. Between Israel and Syria. Commerce is for you. Yes, go ahead. Saudi Arabia. Incorrect. The Golan Heights. Golan Heights. Which California city has never won a championship in the NFL, NBA, NHL, or Major League Baseball? Commerce, yes. San Francisco. Incorrect. Stigler, yes. Sacramento. Incorrect. San Diego. San Diego. And now our second video question. This will be presented by Dr. Keith Garbett, the Dean of the Honors College at Oklahoma State University. What's the name of the largest American lake west of the Mississippi River? Stigler, yes. Crater Lake? Incorrect. Commerce. Time on that. Great Salt Lake in Utah. Which senior senator from New Jersey is accused by the Justice Department in a bribery scheme of over $1 million? Stigler, yes. Chris Christie? Incorrect. Commerce. No thought on that. Robert Menendez. A king of England, the last Plantagenet royal, was buried just recently, 530 years after his death. Name him. Stigler, yes. Charles II? Incorrect. Commerce. Go ahead. George II. Incorrect, Richard III. Richard III. And that timer means that our first speed round is over. The Sigler Panthers with 40 points. The Commerce Tigers with 50 points. Close match, but don't go away. We'll be right back. Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma. After finishing high school, I immediately got married and started my family. Without a college degree, I found that pretty quickly my options were limited. When I started looking around for a college program for working adults, I quickly found that Roger State was a great fit. They worked with me to get financial aid, offered classes that fit my busy schedule, and gave me personalized attention that I couldn't get at a larger school. Roger State definitely started me on my professional career. At OU, you become a free thinker, a trailblazer, a teammate. You become relentless, artistic, passionate, innovative. OU's number one in the nation in the number of National Merit Scholars enrolled at a public university and is the leading institution for academic excellence and value. This is OU. 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 The University of Oklahoma. Welcome back, everyone. Well, before we head into round two, let's go and get acquainted with, for the first time, the Stigler Panthers. How are you doing, Panthers? Good. Good. All right, we're glad you're actually able to make it this time. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, it just happens that way. Please introduce yourself, your name, your grade, anything important you'd like to tell us. Um, I'm Dan Tao, and I'm a junior in the, at the high school, and I like to draw. You like to draw anything specific? 
More or less like anime people. Anime stuff. stuff. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, so you've been an academic team for three years, and you play band for six years. What instruments do you play? I play the trombone. Trombone. Yeah. Got that long thing, right? Yeah. It works good. Okay. I'm glad you're here. How are you doing, sir? I'm good. Please introduce yourself. Um, Jacob Kaufman, grade 10. I go to Stigler High School, and I'm in TSA. TSA, what is that? Technological Student Associations, and we go to different contests and um, just programming and building general things. Okay, more talented than me. Very good. Uh, have you won anything yet? Um, I did go to state last year. Okay. Well, that's still a lot of, uh, that's good right there. All right, glad you're here. How are you doing? Good. All right, please introduce yourself. I'm Abby Brown. I'm a senior at Stigler High School. Mm -hmm. um, I love doing academic team. All right, well, that's a good thing since you're here. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Says you're also participating in FCCLA, softball and drama, but yes. not all at the same time because softball and drama, well, there's drama and softball, I guess. You know. <laughs> there is. Right. But Which you like better? Um, I like drama out of them all, really. So do I. I love it. <laughs> Theater is awesome. Very good. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Don't be too dramatic, though. I will. How are you, sir? I'm good. All right. I'm Alex Phillips. I'm a senior. I've been on academic team four years, and I love to noodle. I like the noodle. Mm -hmm. I've tried it once, didn't go so well. All right, and let's see. Yeah, it does say that. And what's the biggest fish you've ever caught noodling? Uh, probably about 15 pounds. And it was a it was a blue, so it bit a lot and it hurt. I <laughs> and imagine. I had to put it back because they were uh -huh. able to keep. Well, dang it. Well, at least you caught it. You can at least say you did, right? Yeah. All right, that's a good thing. The Stigler Panthers, and now the advantage round. In this round, the teams face off by attempting to answer a speed question. The team that correctly answers then gains the advantage and gets the opportunity to answer three advantage questions worth five points each. Once the three advantage questions are through, it'll go back to speed questions to determine who gets the next advantage. The speed questions can be answered by anyone, but the answers for the advantage questions must come from the team captain. All right, everybody, round two of the advantage round. Are you ready to play teams? Yeah. Let's see who gets the first advantage. Name one of the three states joined the that joined the union during James Polk's presidency. Stigler, yes. California. Incorrect. Commerce. Yes, go ahead. Hawaii. Sorry? Hawaii. Incorrect. Either Iowa, Texas, or Wisconsin. Still looking for advantage. What billionaire investor backed the merger of Heinz and Kraft? Stigler, yes. Donald Trump. Incorrect. I don't think he had time for that, but commerce, yes. Bill Gates. Bill Gates, incorrect. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. Jane Addams won a Nobel Peace Prize in 1931 for co-founding the Hull House. In what city is it located? Stigler, yes. Philadelphia. Incorrect. Commerce. Go ahead. Georgia. Incorrect. City, not state. <laughs> Chicago, located in Chicago. What variety of yucca was named by Mormons who believed its spread arms would lead them to the promised land? Time on that, known as the Joshua tree. In 16 states, snoring is legitimate grounds for what? Stigler, yes. Divorce? Divorce is correct. <laughs> that may not be the reason for my two divorces, but that's beside the point. Advantage to you, Stigler. Your category is that all the following answers include the word king. Okay? Ready. The Robert Penn Warren novel about Huey Long. All the King's Men? All the King's Men? Correct. The central and foremost target in bowling. King. Kingpin? Kingpin? Correct. One of the academic divisions of Cambridge University. Like King's Cross? Or something? Go with King's Cross? Incorrect. King's College. King's, King's College. College. Good. Good job. Back to speed. In 1925, who wrote, quote, The great masses of the people will, mo will more easily fall victim to a big lie than to a small one, end quote. Sorry, Tom, on that. So that would be Hitler. <laughs> Name the attempted assassin of President Reagan. Stigler, yes. Uh, Leon Zolgos. Incorrect. Commerce. Uh, 
Time on that, John Hinckley. John Hinckley. More and more school districts across the nation are trying to raise money by allowing what on school buses? Stigler, yes. Food. Incorrect. Commerce. Food, I like that idea though. Commerce, yes, go ahead. Drinks. Incorrect. Advertisements. You see them on cars, put them on buses too. What sentence did the Boston Marathon bomber, Zokhar Zarnaev, get at the penalty phase of his trial? Stigler, yes. Death? He got death penalty, that is correct. Advantage back to you, Stigler. Your subject is the miracles of Jesus. Number one, what sort of tree did Jesus wither with a curse? Dogwood. Dogwood? Incorrect, a fig tree. Mm. How many lepers did he heal on the road between Samaria and Galilee? I know one at least. <laughs> I don't know. Thirteen. Thirteen. Thirteen? Incorrect. Ten. He healed the servants of what kind of Roman soldier? Um, general? General? Incorrect. Centurion. Centurion. About 5% of the worldwide energy from photosynthesis goes to generate this gas. Name this greenhouse gas and most abundant hydrocarbon in the atmosphere. Stiegler, yes. Carbon dioxide. Incorrect. Commerce. Go ahead. Carbon monoxide. Incorrect. Methane. Methane. Cows do that too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and that timer means that our advantage round is over. Stigler with 50 points, Commerce with 50 points, tie game, we like tie games. But don't go away, we'll be right back. We face the day with purpose. We speak truthfully, if we need to speak at all. Promises are what we keep, anger is what we don't. Whatever must be done, we do it. Until it's done, until it's right. We show respect and work to earn it. We live this code. We are this code. We are cowboys. Are you a cowboy? The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation is a proud sponsor of I Want Answers on RSU Public TV. Throughout his life, Gerald Westby worked hard to add to the quality of life through his legacy of support for the arts, arts education, and culture. The Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation continues this work. Thanks for coming back. Before we head into round three, let's get reacquainted with the Commerce Tigers. How are you doing, Commerce? Wonderful. Good. Are we in the tiger den? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Probably not. Okay. I don't know. Please reintroduce yourself. Your name, your grade, anything important you'd like to tell us. I'm Abigail Weaver. I'm a freshman at Commerce High School, and I'm in TSA. TSA. What is TSA? Technology Student Association. Oh, that's right. They said so too, didn't they? Have you <laughs> gone to states and won things? I've been to nationals twice. Nationals twice. What did you build or what did you do to get that? Structural engineering and global manufacturing. Wow. Better off than me. All right. Well, glad you're here. How are you? Good. Please re reintroduce yourself. My name is Armando Montour, and I'm a sophomore, and I'm also into powerlifting. Powerlifting? How much can you lift? A total, at my last meet, I did a total of 1,000 pounds. Dang. I benched 205 when I was a sophomore. Does that count? That was when I was a freshman. Oh, well, dang. <laughs> 235 bench, 360 squat, and 405 deadlift. Very nice. All right. It's a good deal. Glad you're here. Don't hurt the table. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful. Okay. My name is Riley Bailey and I'm a freshman in high school and I am into falconry. Falconry. So like the, did the falcons just come to you when you put your arms out? Is that how that works? No. They don't do that? Sometimes they might attack you. <laughs> oh, but you wore those gloves so it's okay, right? Sometimes. It depends. They want to go through your head. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Thanks for being here. How are you? Good. Okay. My name is Caitlin Roberts. I'm a junior, and this morning I did my second blood donation. Okay. And you give just a pint, right? Yeah. Not like double or anything. Yeah. I give blood too. So it's so your first donation. So you plan on keep doing it? No, this it? is my second. Your donation. second donation. So it looks like you're going to keep doing this, yes. right? Yes. I've been doing so since I was in high school, and I'm not in high school anymore. 
So keep doing it. It's a well-deserved, you know, civic duty. All right. Glad you're here, Commerce. The Commerce Tigers. And now, round three. The whirlwind round tests the team's ability to think on their feet. In this round, the trailing team gets to pick from one of three categories, and they get to choose whether they wish to answer the category's questions themselves or force the other team to answer them. The team will have 60 seconds to answer as many of the 10 questions in the category as possible, with each correct answer being worth 10 points. Then the other team gets their turn at one of three categories. Should the trailing team choose a category for the leading team, the leading team will get to choose a category for the trailing team. Should any team correctly answer all 10 of their questions within a minute, then they will receive 10 bonus points. Welcome back everyone. Round three, the whirlwind round. Well, since we had a tie game, we had to do a coin flip and the losers of the coin flip were the Stigler Panthers, so you get to make the first decision. Your categories will be detectives, borders, or James. Do you want to pick for yourselves or for commerce? We're going to pick borders for ourselves. Borders for you, okay. Hang on. All right, so your minute will begin after I read the first question. Directions. Tell me what river or lake forms at least part of the boundary between these pairs of states. Okay, ready. Virginia and Maryland. Well, correct. Arizona and Nevada. Rio Grande. Incorrect. Washington and Oregon. Columbia. Correct. Maryland and West Virginia. Chesapeake. Incorrect. No. Ohio and Kentucky. Illinois. Incorrect. West Virginia and Ohio. The Ohio. Correct. Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Hudson. Incorrect. Arkansas and Texas. Mississippi. Incorrect. Alabama and Georgia. The Savannah. Incorrect. New Hampshire and Vermont. That's Time it. on that. I'm sorry. That would be, that'd be the Connecticut River or Halls Stream. Okay. All right. Well, you handle the world around, but now it's time for commerce. You get to choose. And your categories will be detectives, James, or presidents. 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 Okay. Again, your minute will begin after I read the first question, but there are directions. Most of our presidents had some military experience. So that's will be what the questions will be about. Ready? Number one. Who was Lieutenant Colonel in the French and Indian War and Commander-in-Chief of the Continental George Army during the George Revolutionary Washington. War? George Washington. Sorry? George Washington. Correct. Who fought in the American Revolution, was a Major General in the Tennessee State Militia, and fought in the Creek and Seminole Andrew Jackson. War? Sorry? Andrew Jackson. Correct. Who fought the Indians at the Battle of Tippecanoe Tip and, and during the War of 1812 became Supreme Commander of the Army? Thomas Jefferson. Incorrect. Who fought in the Seminole War, the Black Hawk War, the War of 1812, and commanded the Army of Texas during the Mexican War? Ulysses S. Grant. Incorrect. Who was elected a captain during the Black Hawk War? Who served in the Mexican War, became Supreme Commander of the Union Army during the Civil War, and was appointed it left, left off. Grant. Correct. Who became a colonel in the Spanish-American War and helped lead the Rough Riders at San Juan Hill? That would be Teddy Roosevelt. Okay. All right. Whirlwind is done. Score stands with a tie game again. Stigler Panthers with 80 points. Commerce Tigers with 80 points. Also, a true cat fight. We're going to have to go to the final speed round to see who wins this match. Are you ready to play? Yeah. I still want answers. Back to speed. Which Republican presidential hopeful defended President Obama over the accidental killing of two hostages in a U.S. drone attack? Stigler, yes. Ben Carson? Incorrect. Commerce. No thought. Rand Paul. Rand Paul. 
General Motors made big news recently when it unveiled the newest version of what muscle car that dates to the 1960s? Stigler, yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I clear, I'm sorry. Yes, Commerce, my, my apologies, Commerce. Charger. Incorrect, Stigler, you do get a chance. Yes, go ahead. Thunderbird? Incorrect, the Camaro, the Camaro. At what private Christian university in Virginia did Senator Ted Cruz announce he will run for president? Stigler, yes. William and Mary? Incorrect, Commerce. Go ahead. St. Joseph's. Incorrect. Liberty University. U.S. physicians say they hope to avoid many of the 300,000 annual surgeries, usually emergency procedures, to remove what organ by instead treating the inflamed organ with antibiotics? Stigler, yes. Appendix. Appendix is correct. Name two of the four U.S. presidents who were Baptist. Stigler, yes. Andrew Jackson and Andrew Johnson. Incorrect. Commerce. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Teddy Roosevelt and Thomas Jefferson. Incorrect. Uh, that would be either Harding, Truman, Carter, or Clinton. They were all Baptist. Oh, and that time ends our competition. And we have the Stigler Panthers with 90 points, the Commerce Tigers with 80 points. So close. But Stigler, you will move on to the semifinal round. Congratulations. But well played, both teams. Yes. We love close matches. Before you get to congratulate each other, I'd like to thank you all, of course, for being here. We'd like to thank you, audience, for joining us as well as we continue to explore the knowledge of our local Green Country High School academic teams. If you knew some of the answers, go thank a teacher. But if you know freedom, go thank a soldier. Until next time, this is your host, Jeff Gaffin, saying good night, everyone. Follow I Want Answers on Facebook and Instagram and watch previous episodes anytime at rsu.tv. Make sure to join us next week for another exciting competition here on I Want Answers. I Want Answers is made possible by the Grand River Dam Authority, Rogers State University, the University of Oklahoma, Oklahoma State University, the Gerald H. Westby Jr. Foundation, and viewers like you. The Grand River Dam Authority is Oklahoma's state-owned electric utility, fully funded by revenues from electric and water sales instead of taxes. GRDA Electricity touches 75 of 77 counties in the state and serves as an economic development engine for all of Oklahoma. At no cost to taxpayers, GRDA also manages 70,000 surface acres of lakes, including Grand Lake, Lake Hudson, and the WR Hallway Reservoir. Annually, the efforts of Team GRDA facilitate over $450 million in economic activity in Oklahoma.